Lindsay, I have something to admit. What? I might as well admit it to the whole world that can literally watch on YouTube. Because I'm when... really afraid what you're going to say to me right now. Well, you're part of it too. I'm part of it. Yeah, I'm going to confess that Lindsay and I are peepers. We're leaf peepers. We're, we are. We're in the middle of leaf peeping in a beautiful place to leaf peep. And so we're going to peep all day because that's what we do now. We're we gonna peep. We're going to go peeping. We're going to go peeping. We are... Uh, still at the National Forest and the Finger Lakes National Forest. It is stunning. As the weather changes around us, the leaves are changing. Literally, there's more leaves on the ground. There's more color in the trees. It has been pretty awesome the last three days. Everest is feeling better. I get it. Jeez. <laughs> oh, Lindsay is now the new Everest. <laughs> Everest is feeling better. I'm not going to say she's fully healthy and I don't want her running around in a rough house and with, with um, Huck. But she is doing better, and she made it through the night. So we're yeah. in much better spirits today than we were yesterday, even though yesterday was a much more beautiful day than today is shaping up to be. Yeah. But we're yeah. going to... It yeah. is what it is. It is what it is, and we're going to run out, and we're going to go see uh, Glen Falls State Park. Watkins Glen. Watkins Glen State Park. I did it again. I always do it. I'm, I'm just the driver. So we're going to go see that park, and there's supposed to be uh, waterfalls. Yeah. Because you're a waterfall peeper too. Yeah, I am. If you didn't know that about Lindsay, she loves her waterfalls. And uh, we're going to go we're gonna go check out all of these waterfalls while the dogs get readjusted to themselves. Everest was out all day. And, uh, so, yesterday, yeah. Yeah, yesterday. She, whatever they gave her just knocked her out. And uh, so I napped with her and she is back into her fiery self. She's all better. Almost all better. <laughs> We're at Watkins Glen State Park. It is a beautiful gorge with 19 waterfalls and lots of caves and we're really excited to be here. So cool.
You don't have to be smart No need to dress up For me to see That you're a good man You're a good man A real good man When the wind blows and the windows are closing You let the world know what it's been, has been and There's no use in looking back, going back, wishing back Cutting grass and chopping Under the apple tree It's gentle, manly Well, you're a good man Quite the best man A real fine man I would say for sure Watkins Glen State Park is on our top 10. Oh, definitely. For most beautiful places that we've gone. Amazing. It's, um, I mean, I would say for state parks, national parks. But uh, we were thinking about Johnson Canyon in Canada, which is kind of close to it. Yeah, it's similar. But this was just a whole lot packed into about a mile and a half, I think it was, a mile and a quarter trail. Mm -hmm. And it was just full of beauty. We're here at the perfect time. The colors are changing, the leaves were falling. Temperature is perfect. Temperature is perfect. And it actually wasn't that crowded for what I was expecting. We got oh. there early enough that we were kind of on our own and then crowds picked up. Get here early. Obviously the earlier the better, pretty Disney. much anywhere. If you're going to Disneyland, go early. You will get turned away if too many people have already come in. So get here first thing in the morning. We got here. Right before what, 8.30? 8.30. So, and it, it's been great. Now to go back and get the dogs, head back to the campground. As you know, we've been dry camping or boondocking for the past two or three days. And the first day, or the second day, when we went for a hike and Evers rolled in the dog, or the cow poop, she had to get rinsed off. So that took a lot of our tank water. We only have about 29, 30 gallons anyways, so not a lot, and um, we were running low. So we came into town, we did the Watkins Glen hike, and we drive past this ice cream shop, and we see a hose. So we thought, well, why not go in and ask? So Chris went in and asked super, super nice owners. They said, sure, fill up with water, however much you need. So nice. Um, so we are here filling up with their water and I think I'm gonna go in and buy something that said they had vegan stuff on the menu and it looks really good so I'll show you this place and I'm gonna go inside and check it out you get a shake? I can't have a shake unless they have a vegan shake <laughs> so nice 
filling up with water. I think it's called the Great Escape. So that was awesome, uh, except it's an ice cream store and <laughs> Lindsay can't eat dairy. They do have vegan options. She doesn't let me eat ice cream. They, the place is great. They do have vegan options. It's just I haven't had breakfast yet and I don't really want ice cream. So what we did instead was uh -huh. we were, we tried to start to pay it forward. We went ahead and bought ice cream for whoever comes in next. And we'll see if they continue to pay it forward. So if you hear on the news about something out of this area, where are we again? Watkins, Watkins Glen. Glen about some awesome crazy pay it forward at an ice cream store. Maybe it started right here. If not, no worries. The lady was super kind to let us uh, get water and uh, now we're all set for another week or so. Let's get out of here. Buffalo soldiers. YouTube's gonna flag me on that. <laughs> I don't even know that song. Bob Marley. Oh god. Don't admit don't I'm admit sorry. to don't admit to the world that you don't know that song. I know his other stuff. Uh <laughs> we are to answer your question, we are gonna go to Toganok Gok Gok State how Park. I don't know, it's got a crazy name. It is Native American and I just offended some people and I apologize for not being able to Sorry for pronounce calling it. it a crazy name. It is Tog Toganuk, I think is how you say it, yeah. something like that. It's a cool name. It is in the area, it's still in the Finger Lakes. This is our last day here in the Finger Lakes and uh and it's been it's been pretty nice. Yep. Really spectacular. So once we got back and Everest was all healed up, I took the dogs yesterday for their own little hike. I went for a four mile little Walked back through the woods, took Everest, you know, when you fall off a horse, what do they say? Get right back you on. You gotta get right back on. I took her right back to the place where she had her sneezing episode. I marched her right on through it. <laughs> she was strong. She persevered and she's back she's on been the horse. Fun, yeah. Yep. Which is interesting because we walked through cows, like there were like 40 cows we had to wade through. <laughs> she didn't want any part of that. They were nice. They were nice. <laughs> so we're gonna go to Toganuck Falls. It is raining right now. The temperature dropped again. This is part of, um, by the time you watch this, the news will already have told you weeks ago about this big, cold, massive air front from Canada that's pushed down and it's cooling off everything. This is it right here. We're in the middle of it right now. But that's okay because it's not snowing. Nope, it's not cold enough to snow. Thank nope. goodness. Thank goodness. <laughs> and uh, what did you say about your insulated cup? It is pretty profound. <laughs> When Lindsay's profound, I like to make sure we point it out. That, I mean, insulated mugs are great, but because they're insulated, I can't warm my hands up. You know what will warm your hands the outside's up? outside's cold. <laughs> you know what will warm your hands up? What? The puppy. Turning this truck on and getting oh, it going. Yes. We are at Toganuck Falls State Park. Um, we went and checked out the overlook, or I went out and checked out the overlook before we paid to park. It's $8.00. 
to park here. And then it's about a two mile out and back trail to the bottom of the falls. And the water is uh, very low right now. So the falls isn't, I'm gonna say it's not that impressive and it's raining. So we're kind of on the fence about hiking down there. I'm not on the fence. Well, so we're gonna show you the overlook, show Chris. It's very pretty. Um, it reminds me a lot of the now, I can't think of the name, but we went to- Tokati? Yeah, Tokati Falls in Oregon. It reminds me a lot of that. Just the way that the uh, waterfall made the, or the rivers made this gorge. Um, it's a very pretty cliff with the falls falling down it. Definitely, I mean, it's pretty. It's just a very low amount of water. So, keep going. Go down there and snap a picture. On that note, I'm going to go get warm and dry. Well, as long as you shared, that was anticlimactic for us right now. I mean, it was beautiful. I don't want to say, like, anticlimactic, but... But we're not going to wait for the rain for that. Yeah, we're not going to hike in the rain and... No, and it's, stop. It's going to be four hours or so stop. until the rain's supposed to stop. And we... I alluded to Buffalo because our next chapter in the story is we're going to see the mother of all waterfalls in North America, Niagara. Yay! I've never been... Chris has been. And we got a friend uh, out there I'm going to introduce Lindsay to yeah. from a really special occasion um, in my professional career. So we'll be sharing that story as we get out there. But today we are going to wrap for right now. Finger Lakes region of New York has been wonderful. Yeah, it's been awesome. It is beautiful. It was a surprise. I did not expect this. We hit it at the right time. Yep. Even if we weren't, if we were here in the summer and it was green yeah, and we hiked, there's pretty. so much hiking to do, yeah. so much great stuff. And uh, so I'm going to put this on my list of places to come back to, which it was really surprising um, at this point. So anyway, we're going to hit the road and uh, we do appreciate you watching this video, taking the time to reach out and leave a positive comment. If you have anything positive to say, we'd love to hear it. Send us an email, like if you have not already done so, please subscribe to our channel. And of course, share our story with others as we pursue the abundant life on the road, trying to inspire you and encourage you and provide information for you to help you make the best life you can have, particularly if you can get out on the road. Thanks again for being a part of our story. We will catch you in the next episode. Next time.